Hi everyone, you're welcome to Blenura Fashion Line. I am Blessing Banjo. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you. And in case you're watching me for the first time, or you've been watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please subscribe to this YouTube channel for wholesome, amazing content relating to fashion sewing tutorials and diy in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to draft a basic skirt block how to draft a basic skirt block and have been able to draw a rectangular box as i always say so this is a rectangular box and it is uh remember as i always say in my tutorials whenever you are creating a block you know we have the horizontal and we have the vertical and the horizontal measurement relates to the circumference like waist and hip waist and hip what the vertical has to do with the length the length like skirt length so let's go to the measurement waist 29 hip 38 skirt length 24 knee line 21 nipple to nipple height and hip line height so these are the six measurements we'll be making use of in this tutorial. So let's begin. Remember the hip line. Hip line, you can also call it waist to hip, is eight inches. So and this is the diagram. This is the rectangular box. This is the rectangular box. And it is the circumference against the length, the horizontal against the vertical the rectangular box and the circumference in this eye uh, checking these measurements now the circumference majorly had the waist and hip measurement and you choose the highest which is 38 you divide it by two we have 90 you have two inches we have 21 so i have 21 here i have 21 and then the length the highest measurement here you can see for the length we have skirt length we have knee line we have um, hip line is 24 so we are going with we are using 24 inches so and that is what we have here 24 so the next thing is let's impute our measurement so we have 21 by 24 and i divided it into two we have 10.5 on both sides so marking our measurement now, we have the hip line, which is head, head hinge. Now after marking the hip line, the next thing is you mark your knee line. Even though you've taken the knee line measurement on your client, you don't mark your knee line. Please don't do that. So this is my knee line now. I will go three inches. I will reduce three inches from my knee line i have 18 inch so i'll reduce three inch i will reduce three inch from my knee line so that's 21 minus three so although there's always a you know in fashion designing we have a constant most times for an average height you can use 18 inch for for this 18 but for a very tall person, you can use 19. You can even go 17 inch, or it depends on the fitting you want. So here, yeah, I'll be using 18. I'll minus three from my knee line. So I'll advise you take your knee line or your client. You have the waistline, the hip line, the knee line, and then the hem line. Remember, this is 24. This paper is 24. So after doing this, the next thing is to begin to impute our to choose which one is the front and back so i'll be going with this side as the back and this should be the front when we were drafting the basic body block remember we tightened this area remember we tightened the back by 0 0.5 inch this place we tightened here by 0 0.5 inch so we will also do that on the skirt block so you tighten by 0 0.5 inch here and then you take your curve and then you connect 
back to the hip line connect back to the hip line you can see so after we've done this let's impute the measurement the weight is 29 divided by 2 we have 7.25 and then the DAT intake is 1.5 so have included the DAT 1.5 so I've marked it here the hip is 38 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 I'm going to mark that I want us to focus on this place and this place first before so what I'll do is just take my cork and then connect together like so so let's do the same for the front for the front also the waist is 7.25 and then that of 1.5 always include your that and then we have 9.5 and then you connect also yes and then the next thing now is to Let's include the dart before we now come down here. For the dart, the nipple to nipple is 8. So we have 8 divided by 2, that's 4. So remember, just like we did here for the front, this is actually important. You might not really follow this if you are sewing a skirt, just a basic skirt. But if you are going to be connecting your skirt to your body and make it a dress, then you have to follow all these instructions. That's why I'm trying to say this also, in case you are, you want to make this skirt and then connect it to your body. So remember that when we also did this, we measured, we did four, yeah, and we also calculated it together. So that's what you also do when you are making this place. So remember, we measured four. We measured the four from this line. We measured the four from this line. So what we also do is we measure 4.5 here and we connect together then we come to the front the front is 4 the nipple to nipple also and then we have four and we connect so after doing this let's take our that you know when we were connecting we did 0 0.75 on both sides that would be 1.5 0 0.75 on both sides and for the length of my dart, the length of my dart for the back will be 1.5 before my hip line. And for the front, it will be 2.5. So what I will do is to just connect them. So it means we'll be cutting out this side, this shader side. So I realized that I just, for emphasis sake, remember when I was measuring my waist, I didn't take it from this line. Please don't take it from this side because we'll be cutting out this side also. So I started from taking my 7.25 from where I tightened. Please note that. So now let's come down here 
I want to talk about how to tighten your knee because I know many people have issues of uh, knee tightening. They might have really tightened there. They don't know what to do there. So now this is the rule for, and I hope you get it. For knee tightness, especially for adults, for adults, please note for adults. Whenever you want to tighten the knee of a adult, just deduct three from the hip. Deduct three hinge from the hip. Let's say the adult hip is thirty eight, and you want to tighten the knee. You deduct three from the hip. That is thirty five. So it means when you want to put your uh, knee line measurement, you do thirty five. You do thirty three inch is okay for adults. It won't be too tight. You know, adults like things that are very comfortable. So it won't be too tight. It won't be too. Uh, it won't be too tight. They will be able to walk freely when you do three. But for someone who does not mind, you can do four. Like now, the dress you can see on the screen. I did four point five. The dress you can see on the screen right now that I made, I did four point and it was very tight. It was really tight, four point five. So that's what I'm saying for uh, a teenager or a youth that does not mind, that does, that wants fitness at the knee line. If you want fitness at the knee line, don't do four inch. Anything from four inch is fine. So it means you deduct four inch from your hip measurement. That is thirty four. So when you deduct four inch from your hip measurement, that's thirty four. So it means you're taking thirty four. Yeah. I hope we understand what I am saying. So for this measurement, and this person I'm actually drafting for is a youth, not an, uh, not a, not a big adult. Let me use the word big adult. So I'll be deducting four. And remember, if you are deducting four, that's like you're taking one inch one hinge you get remember here we did 9.5 so it means here we'll be doing 8.5 i hope you understand it means here we'll be doing 8.5 8.5 times 4 is 34. so it means here also so let's do for the front so so if you are doing three inch for an adult let's say you are taking three inch from the if measurement that will be uh 35. So that will be 0.75. You deduct 0.75 from whatever you have here. It's as easy as that. So let's say 4. That's 1 inch. So since I have 9.5 here, it means I will have 8.5 here at the knee line. I will also have 8.5 here at the hem line. I will mark it. So what I will do is this. For the front, is this is very important for good fitness. I promise you. Just do this and thank me later do this from your hemline to your knee line and then you connect like so i see it's as easy as that very easy so now let's come to the back remember we took one hinge so what i'll do for the back is i'll divide that one inch into two so that'll be 0 0.5 so yeah I will come in by 0 0.5. Yeah, also. The reason why I'm doing this is to just give it a butt lift at the back and to make the back very smart. So you can see what I will now do is to measure my 8.5 from where I tightened. I'll measure 8.5 again. So you can see the next thing to do is to just connect together. You can see that, and I will also connect here. Yeah. So now that we have been able to connect, these are the areas we'll be cutting out. This place, this place. And then the next thing, which is the last stage now, is to come down here by one inch. And the reason why we have to come down at the front, center front, this is the center front. This is the center front, this is the side front, and then this is the center back, this is the side back. So the reason why we have to come down by one hinge 
is because uh, to eliminate puffs or folds you know how to achieve this i will have to close this gap it's important that i close it so you can see it's very simple what i did is to fold this one can you see towards when you fold your dart you fold it towards your side so now how fold this remember i just followed this line and then i created a fold and then i'll place it on each other it's very simple i'll place it on the second dart leg so I folded one dart leg. This is a dart leg. This is a dart leg. And then I'm folding it. I'm placing it like so. Can you see? So you can actually use a tape to hold it down. So let me use a tape to hold it down. So I'm using a tape to just hold it down temporarily. So what I'll do is this. At this center front, at the center front, I'll come down by one inch so what i will now do is after coming down by one inch using my core from this one inch i'll connect it to this side seam you can see that's easy as that so and remember i said the reason why we're actually doing this is to eliminate puff is to eliminate puff or fold so what i'll do now is to take my tracing wheel we so take my tracing wheel and then just trace this place where can you see i'm just trying to trace it so you might not be able to see what i did but let me draw it out now following what i traced i can see it but i'm so sure you won't be able to see it so tracing it now, this is what we have. Did you see that? This is what I have. You won't be able to see it, but I actually noticed it. So it means that when I'm cutting, I will also cut this area. I'll cut this area also. I also need to say that there are some patterns when you make a sketch block. Because there are some patterns that you have to come up here by 0.5 inch. So, and that's when I'm, I'm you're making a corporate skirt. That's when I do that. So, the, uh, you might have to come up here by 0.5 inch for both sides. Because someone might be asking that, okay, I've seen a pattern like that. Yes, it's actually not it's still... I do this when I'm working with um, when I'm working on corporate skirts. So it's actually like this. So when when I'm working on a corporate skirt, I come up by 0 0.5. You can see here. So it means for this place when you are drawing it, let me draw it again. It means when you when you draw it this way, just like we did earlier. So it means this side of stopping here, when you're drawing it, you make it go up. You make it go up like so. Did you see that? So that's it. So it means you'll be cutting out this side. So I hope you will got that. You can see that it's as simple as KBC. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. In case you have any questions, kindly uh, send me questions in the comment section and I will respond. Yes, up. I'll respond. Yes, up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Let them know about this channel, Blenura Fashion Line. And please, I will appreciate it if you like this video. Please there's a like button just like it thank you for liking thank you for subscribing you can follow me i have a facebook group lenora fashion line where i share awesome tips fashion tips you will love it there it's a facebook group where you can get help and order good stuff i will see you in the next one i remain blessing banjo 
thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye